Welcome to the Finding Links and Citations in PubChem tutorial. PubChem is the National Library of Medicine's Open Chemistry Database. PubChem records have a plethora of links to other helpful resources, publishers, and databases. These may include PubMed, clinicaltrials.gov, LACMED, and other NLM resources. There may be links to FDA, EPA, USDA, and other government agencies. And many records will include links to industry, international, and academic resources. You'll see links to additional information in a few places in a PubChem record, including citations accompanying specific sections, the information sources section of the contents menu, and the literature section of the contents menu. This tutorial will show you how to access these links. Within a PubChem summary are citations with links to data sources for specific pieces of information, like an identifier or physical property. I'll demonstrate this in the compound summary for sodium valproate. At the top of the summary is a box that has select information on the chemical, at the bottom of the box, there are three narrative descriptions of sodium valproate. Below each definition is the name of the data source, in green, that contributed it. These are CHEBI, NCI thesaurus, NCIT, and liver tox. To view detailed information about the source and find the link, click on the chevron beside the source name. The URL links to the source material about sodium valproate. If you want to see a list of all the data sources and corresponding links cited in a PubChem summary, use the contents menu to jump to the information sources section. The information sources section lists all of the sources that have contributed information to PubChem about the chemical. Let's look closely at the first information source listed, the Australian Industrial Chemicals Introduction Scheme. Below the title is a link to the source's licensing information. Below that is a direct link to a page with the information about the chemical that is included in PubChem. If you want to jump to a specific source and link, use the Filter by Source drop-down menu at the top of the information sources section. PubChem summaries also include links to outside sources of literature, clinical trials, and more. Most will have links to PubMed and some to clinicaltrials.gov, plus many publishers. For example, some chemicals may include links to clinicaltrials.gov in the Drug and Medicine Information section. On the summary for sodium valproate, I'll locate the Drug and Medicine Information section and click on the chevron beside the section name to see all of its contents. I'll click on clinical trials to view that section. This section includes tables with links to different clinical trial repositories, like clinicaltrials.gov. To view trial information at clinicaltrials.gov, I can click on the number beside the CTID field, I'll do that now for the first trial listed here. Now I'm viewing that trial in clinicaltrials.gov. Next, I'll go back to the contents menu and look for the literature section. When I open it up, I see different publishers and databases that I can jump to. I'll click on NLM Curated PubMed Citations to view how PubMed is integrated with PubChem. Then I'll select the All NLM Curated PubMed Citations link to view PubMed records. Now I'm viewing citations about this chemical in PubMed. This concludes the finding links and citations in PubChem video. For additional help, view the documentation on the PubChem help page. 
A link to the help page is available at the bottom of every PubChem page.